Hi, this video is about the Caribou Mathematics Contest. I'm going to show the solution for the May 2013 Grade 5 6 Contest Question 7, which also came up in the Grade 7 8, 9 10, and 11 12 contests. So the question is there are nine chocolate bars in a bag of Halloween candy. The bag is dropped and five of the chocolate bars break. You take one random chocolate bar out, eat it, and take another out. What is the probability that neither of these were broken? So the probability of picking an unbroken chocolate bar out would be four out of nine because there are nine chocolate bars in total of which four are unbroken and five are broken. After this pick, there are eight chocolate bars left, of which three would then be unbroken. So then the probability would be three out of eight. So if we have two events and we want the first event and the second event to happen, we would have to multiply the probability of the first event and the probability of the second event together. So for example, let's say we're flipping two coins, a $1 coin and a $2 coin, where both of them have heads and tails. So when you're flipping the $1 coin, the first coin, there are two possibilities, heads and tails. And let's say you want heads for both coins, so the $1 coin and the $2 coin. So well, for the $1 coin, the probability of having heads is 1 over 2 because it's heads or tails. Then for the $2 coin, there are again two possibilities, heads and tails, and to get heads it would be 1 out of 2. So then you would multiply 1 over 2 by 1 over 2, which is 1 over 4. So now we will prove that we know it is 1 over 4. So also, it would the four possibilities would be heads and heads, tails and tails, heads and tails, and tails and heads. So we know that there are four possibilities of the coins and the heads and tails that happen. And if we want only heads and heads, that would be again 1 out of 4. So that proves that we must multiply both probabilities of the events. So in our case, we would have to multiply 4 over 9 by 3 over 8. So now we will cancel factors. 4 and 8 is the same as 1 over 2. And 3 over 9 is the same as 1 over 3. So what we end up with is 1 times 1 is 1. And then we have 3 times 2 is 6. So we know the probability is 1 over 6. If you'd like to know more about this contest, please feel free to visit our website at www.brocky.ca slash caribou.